Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. I'm here at a micro hydro install where I wanted to talk to you about the pin stock of this system. The pin stock is the pipe that carries the water from the intake or water source down to wherever the turbines or pelton wheels or turgo system is producing the power from the water. Now there are a few important things to keep in mind for your pin stock. The first one is that the pipe needs to be big enough to carry the water that you need and not have friction loss. So for this homeowner, they have got a four inch pipe that is reduced down from a six inch pipe. This pipe right here can easily carry over 100 gallons a minute and they have approximately 110 or 120 gallons flowing down this pipe for a fall or head pressure of 50 feet. Now the second thing is that you need to have a pipe that can withstand the pressure in your system. So for this homeowner, they only have 50 feet of head pressure, which is about 21 to 22 PSI. So this pipe right here can handle that pressure no problem whatsoever. You also have to make sure that the pin stock always slopes downhill. If you have any points where there is a bump up, it will cause an air pocket to form in that spot, and it will reduce the full flow of water in your pin stock. That will greatly reduce the amount of pressure you have and also reduce the amount of power you're producing at the end of your system. So definitely keep that in mind as you are installing your system. You may have to use a bridge or two to make sure the pin stock doesn't have any dips down in the valleys and you need to make sure that it doesn't have too much of a rise or else it will have a pocket at the other end of that. So just keep that in mind as you are laying out your pin stock over the land. Some systems may need a clean out. If you have to do some maintenance at some point in your pipe, it's very important not to have the water uh, full in that pipe as you're trying to do your work. So make sure there's a way to either shut off the water or divert the water away from the rest of the system so that you can do your maintenance. In some cases, a stand pipe can be installed to help remove air from the system. Just make sure you have enough head pressure above and below that pipe so that the uh, air is not being sucked down that stand pipe into the turbine system. So that can be a little bit tricky if you have a lot of head pressure, say 100 feet. You certainly can't have a 100 foot stand pipe. So not all situations can use a stand pipe to remove air from your pen stock. You can see coming out of the Kawanda screen, there is a six inch pipe. It takes a 90 right here and moves down this way. There's one joint right there. And then right down here, there is a fern co fitting that reduces from the six inch pipe down to a four inch pipe. Now, the 110 gallons a minute that are flowing in this system can easily be passed through a four inch pipe without too much friction loss. Four inch pipe is also readily available at most of your plumbing and hardware stores. Now, like I mentioned before, it's important not to have any high spots in your pin stock. So if you were to shoot a grade right here from that Kowanda stream, the homeowner says there's approximately 15 inches from where it enters in to this portion right down here. They have a clean out, which allows the system to be flushed and return back down to the creek. This also allows a spot for maintenance to occur with this giant four inch ball valve. Now, an attempt was made to reduce the air that might be getting into the system, but the problem was there's only about 15 inches of head pressure here and about 50 on the downhill side. So that much, the high pressure was pulling air out of the standpipe, so it is currently locked down. This particular creek can have flood stages with over 700 gallons a minute, and so the homeowner has moved the pipe away from the creek, and now it is traveling down over here and will return to the creek after it has gone through the turbines. So as you can see, a little bridge system has been made to allow this pipe to go over this little dip right here without having a spot that then returns back up. So a very simple design, just a couple of cross pieces of wood and then some decking boards up under that to support the weight of this pipe. Now, if I were to get here on the pipe, you could see how it has a constant downhill slope the entire way, all 50 feet of this head pressure. I mentioned before the importance of not having a pipe too small 
to allow friction loss. And you can see here that exterior pipe couplings are used. These are pressure couplings. And so the inner portion of the pipe still has full flow. If you're using poly pipe, it can be more difficult to find a way to connect these to allow for that full flow of water. For places that would have a dip, you can see a block of wood has been carved out to hold the pipe. Now I'm actually hearing a little bit of air running through the pipe right through here. I doubt that'll pick up on camera, but I am hearing a little bit right in there. For those concerned that the creek is dry, you can see there is easily another 100 to 200 gallons of water flowing past at this moment that's not here into the turbine system. I hope you found this information on the pin stock of a micro hydro system to be helpful. If you want to learn more about hydro, I have several videos here on the Land of House channel. And if you're looking to install your own micro hydro system, I will place a link in the description down below to Langston's Alternative Power. Langston has tons of information and all of the equipment you will need to install your hydro system. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.